Hi, I'm going to answer this question. How can we upgrade the laptop motherboard? So, as you know, there is a big difference between the laptop motherboard and the computer motherboard or the desktop motherboard. For the desktop motherboard, you can change and upgrade any part you want. For example, the processor, the graphic card, the network card, the sound card, etc. But for the laptop, there is just four parts that you can upgrade. These parts are the processor, the random access memory, the BIOS basic input-output system, and the HDD or the hard disk drive. So let's go deeper into understanding this upgrade. So let's begin with the processor. So as you can see here, the processors are not the same. We can distinguish between processors in terms of the speed or the frequency, the cache memory, and the frequency or the speed of the FSB or front side bus. So, as you can see here for this processor, for example, we have here 1.83, 2.83, 2 megabyte and 667. This numbers means what? This is 1.83 gigabyte. So this is the speed of this processor. And here 2M means 2 megabyte of the cache memory. And 667 means 667 megabytes of speed. This is the frequency of the bus, the FSB bus, the front side bus, the bus that connects the processor to the GMCH. I will show you all this in the schematic. So in order to go deeper into understanding how to upgrade the processor of a laptop motherboard, Let's check in Google the characteristics for this CPU. As you can see, so we have 1.83, as you can see, 2M667. So let's press enter. So let's go to the first result. So as you can see here, we have Intel Core 2 Duo processor. T5600 2M cache, as you can see. So 2M means the, the cache memory. So 2M means cache memory. And here we have 1.83 gigahertz. This is the frequency for the processor or the processor speed. And as you can see here, we have 667 megahertz if SP. If SP means front side bus. So let's check the schematic. So as you can see here, so this is the schematic for another laptop motherboard, but the working principle is the same. So this is the processor, as you can see, and here we have the GMC hedge or the North Bridge. So this is the FSP, as you can see. Okay. This is the FSB. This are FSB or front side bus. The FSB is the bus that connects between the processor and the GMCH or the Nord Bridge. So for the frequency or the speed for this FSB in this laptop is 800 to 1066. So this is a very good speed or frequency. Okay, and also here between the GMC hedge and the IC hedge, we have the DMI or direct media interface with a low frequency, as you see, just 100 megahertz. 
So the transmission or the speed of transmission of data here is very low, but here very high because the frequency is high. Okay, here also, as you can see, we have the connection between the GMCH and the DDR2 memory via the memory bus. So the speed also is very high, the same as the FSB frequency. We have 800 to 1066. Okay, so this is the working principle. So for this process, as you can see here, we have here four megabyte. This four megabyte is for the cache memory, as you can see. Okay, so if you want to upgrade any processor, the processor of your laptop motherboard or of any motherboard, you should pay attention to three characteristics. So the frequency of the processor itself okay and the memory cache size for this processor for example 4 megabyte and the speed or the frequency of the FSB or front side bus as you can see here so the FSB speed here is greater than the processor that we have seen before as you can see here so always you should pay attention to the cache memory and the speed of the processor and the speed or the frequency for the FSP or front side bus and of course the type of processor so dual core is not like i3 or i5 or i7 and of course you should also pay attention to the generation of the processor so the generation of the processor is always determined with the number after the dash okay so the model of processor dash the first number is the generation of the cpu as you can see here in this picture when you find dash 4 means the fourth generation dash 5 the fifth generation dash 6 the sixth generation and so on we can upgrade this processor for example with another processor with improved characteristics for example this processor as you can see here so for this processor as you can see we have 2.10 here we have 1.83 here we have 2.10 so the speed of this processor is greater than the speed of this here we have 3m means 3, 3 megabyte of the cache memory and here we have 800 megahertz this is the speed or the frequency of the FSB or front side bus okay so we can upgrade the processor of this motherboard by removing this processor as you can see so here as you can see we have this screw here here we have lock and lock so to unlock the processor you should turn this screw to this side and then you can remove the processor easily as you can see then we can put another processor with good characteristics but unfortunately we cannot use this processor as you can see instead of this you know why because the configuration as you can see the pin configuration is not the same as you can see here so here so this is the old processor this is the new processor with good characteristics this is this is the old processor and here this is the improved one do you see here as you can see here there is difference between this configuration and this configuration so we cannot connect this in the socket in this socket 
okay so always to upgrade your processor you should look for the appropriate processors with the same pin configuration okay so of course you can find many types of the processor in laptop motherboard as you can see this is an enhanced and improved motherboard here as you can see the, the gmch is integrated with the cpu as you can see in one chip this is as you can see here this is i3 processor and here this is just dual core processor okay so in this processor as you can see we have the cpu this is the gmch and this is the ICH, okay? So the graphic card is integrated with the GMCH in this motherboard, okay? But for this motherboard, as you can see, we have the ICH and here we have the GMCH and the graphic card integrated with the processor. And I will show you another motherboard that is separated. All chips are separated to each other. As you can see, this is the CPU, this is the GMCH or the Northbridge. Here we have the graphic card, as you can see. This is NVIDIA graphic card, as you can see. And here we have the RCH.